is your first alert five weather with Alan Rose. And welcome back everyone to News 5 on this Sunday. Well, this was the scene earlier this morning on the north side of town. This photo sent in by Jim Coda. And if you looked outside around maybe 8 o'clock to about 11 o'clock in the springs, it was dumping. There was a lot of moisture in the air. It was sticking to the grassy surfaces and roofs. And then right around 11, 1130, poof, the snow was gone. I'm going to tell you why here in just a second, why that snow didn't stick around until the evening hours like what we expected. Right now it's 39 degrees outside. It's windy out of the airport. Wind sustained around 15. Also windy in Pueblo where temperatures managed to get into the lower 50s today. Here's a look at some of the snow totals. You saw quite a bit up towards Leadville over seven and a half there. Black Forest reporting just about five and a half in the springs, even though it stopped snowing early between one and three and a half. Palmer Lake around three and a half and Manitou Springs reporting there about an inch of snow. The area of low pressure did not intensify earlier in the day as expected. It is now intensifying just southeast of us, and that is why snow is beginning to fill in here across the eastern plains, even seeing a little bit of moisture showing up on the radar. I just walked outside, though, and we're not seeing snow currently at our rock room and studios. If you're seeing any snow here in the springs or anywhere in southern Colorado, let us know on our KOAA News 5 Facebook page. So again, a little bit of moisture, maybe some snow down towards wide field, but the better chance tonight is going to be out east into the plains. All of the earlier winter weather advisories, they've been allowed to expire. They only continue through 11 o'clock tonight for the sand grays and also the uh, Sawatch ranges here and the wet mountains in southern Colorado. Also a chance of an isolated thunderstorm down across the southeastern plains. So for the day on Monday, windy and cool, that's going to be the story. Temperatures only warming into the 40s in the springs in Pueblo. Dry skies for the most part, even though a cold front will move through the area and there could be some mountain snow, I think will keep our conditions dry across the Parks Peak, Pikes Peak region and here across southern Colorado. But look at these wind gusts up near 30 to 40 plus during the day tomorrow. Strongest winds in the afternoon and into the early evening hours. And that's going to be generated by this cold front that passes through as we make our way into Monday afternoon and Monday night. Really cold air filters in behind it before we warm up late next week. So lows tonight dropping down to the teens and 20s going to be colder than what we saw last night and temperature wise tomorrow should be pretty comfortable with a mix of sunshine and clouds in the forecast. Look at the seven day relatively quiet compared to what we saw last week. Although do we have a chance of flurries Tuesday and the wind is going to be the big story. Not expecting any significant snow over the next seven days. Also cold air with that system. Look at Tuesday's high in Pueblo. The low Tuesday night down to the single digits. Canyon City, other than some flurries and wind Monday and Tuesday, it's going to be a chilly forecast here. And for Woodland Park, temperatures staying in the 30s and 20s before warming back up, heading into the end of next week and next week.